Hey, Sean here from speedcubeview.com. I've got some questions from you from Instagram. Let's get to them. Keeping Life 21 asks, what up? Not much. Joy Rubis asks, what do you think of the top three by three solvers right now? I actually don't know who's the top solvers right now. I mean, I'm sure there's Felix and Max. Uh, Matt's probably up there. Um, you know, there's a lot of different people. There's, you know, that's a lot of different ones, but good, good for them. Mad Lab 23, PB, FMC. Now this one I actually do know that 22 that I got at um, FMC America is my best. I've got a lot of solves in the 20s now at home and a few more at competitions, but nothing's beaten that 22. Dexterity asks how many cubes you have and estimate cost of them. Can you solve it all? So there's over 500 for sure. Estimated cost, I have no idea. I've never estimated that. And it's hard because some of them are used. Um, pretty much all of them have been used in some right, but they're older ones and Hard to tell how many people want an older puzzle or what that would even cost. Now, I can solve most of them. There's some things that I don't remember how to, or these bandage ones, which I started to solve and then I kind of gave up. Now, I know Red KB has some things on it, and I'm sure something like this, where I just have three corners out of place, there's some way of doing a commutator that can work, but I can't just figure out what the commutator is yet. Cyborg Creeper 44 asks, how many instruments do you know how to play? Well, I can play the violin viola, obviously, and the cello and the bass. Because I went to school for music education, I had to learn how to play every band and orchestra instrument because that's what I'd be teaching, and then also piano. So there's violin, viola, cello, bass, piano. Then I had to take classes on the clarinet, the saxophone, the flute, the trumpet, the French horn, the trombone, the euphonium, baritone, I guess, tuba, um, oboe, bassoon, got to be some other ones. Um, but then I also did some oh, percussion instruments, so the whole slew of percussion instruments for orchestra and band, as well as some African hand drumming, a lot of different things. Also ukulele and guitar. Stephen Wintringham asks, what's your favorite competition you have been to? I think my favorite one, wait, is favorite? Yeah, did I say best? I don't know. It's probably my um, first one I ever went to, just because I never experienced something like that, and I was quite nervous. Now I feel like I'm able to be a lot more social now because I know people. Um, it was actually my favorite just because of the experience. Like I just really got to know that there's a community out there. Hudson Cubed asked, what is your easiest solve you've ever gotten? I love your channel. Well, thank you very much. Now I don't know like as far as a cross, how much easier that one is, but I've had a few uh, PLL skips in competition and I think every time I've had one, it's been on a bad solve, so it saves that bad solve, but I wish I had them on a good solve. I can't think of one off the top of my head, though. Brandon Butchalter13 asked, tell, about, tell us about your funniest memory. FMC memory. Oh, funniest FMC memory. I think it was when I got the 22, because I, I got the 22 in about 15 minutes, and I was just, I'd never had anything like that before, so I was just like shaking. I'm like, I'm just going to stop here. I didn't even look for 45 minutes for other things. And I just turned it in. I just sat there, just waiting. And then after they found the results, it was FMC America, and we found out someone else in the room I was at also got a 22 with the exact same solution. And someone in another location also got the exact same 22. And then the good FMC solvers that were in the room were just looking at this like, how did this happen? And they missed it because we did some really dumb things by doing straight ZZ instead of doing more block building. Aja Susek asks, what were your times when you first went to a competition? So I believe my first ever solve was like a 22. Um, so I, I don't know what my average was. I think it was under 20, but it was something around there. Osman Badruding15417 asks, what tips do you have for cubers who just got a sub 20 average? Congratulations. Keep on going. Have fun. Just know that the faster you get, the slower it seems like your progression gets. Don't get discouraged. Don't even care what your times are. Just practice. Have fun. Connor B. Robinson asks, how do I get back into making videos? Film a video, phones work really well, and then put them on YouTube. That's all you gotta do. Collision Cuber asks, hey, can you solve some random puzzles as a new series, kind of like Can Chris Solve? I've thought about that, but that's what my videos already are. When I unbox a new cube, I usually do the unboxing and try to solve it right there. Sometimes I fail, like with the uh, bandage cubes, but that's pretty much it. I feel like if I did Ken Shang solve, that would just be hopping someone else's thing. I do my own things. I do videos that I like to do. Zach B20 asks, clock or feet? 
neither. I literally have never tried to solve either clock or solve with feet, ever. I've scrambled for both, never tried to solve. A Magus 420 asks, do you like Franz Liszt's music? Yeah, it's not bad. The Yucks asks, when should I compete? Sub 20 or sub 15 in three by three? Now, don't worry what your times are. This is kind of the big thing that people seem concerned about. They're afraid to go to competition unless they're a certain time. Your times don't matter. I, I think every single competition I've ever been to, there's been at least one or two people that have been over a minute. A uh, recent competition that I went to, someone was over two minutes. And it doesn't matter. You can have up to 10 minutes to solve a three by three. And most of the time, no one is there to, or most of the people that are there don't care about beating out other people. If anything, they just want to beat their times they had previously. And when I, when, as someone who's helped staff it, I can tell you staff delegates, people who run it, love seeing people who are over a minute, who are trying and starting out and really enjoying it. Because that means we have new people coming in, new people enjoying it. And you're given a 10 minute time limit for three by three, because that's what most people come in doing. And we just want people to show up and do it. There's time limits on other puzzles, like one handed, I think I missed the cutoff one or two competitions in a row because it was like 50 or 45 seconds and I couldn't beat it. But I still tried because why not? It's fun to try. So if your times are over 20 seconds, if they're over 30 seconds, if they're over a minute, go to a competition. It's very enjoyable. It's a lot of fun meeting other cubers. And no matter what your times, no one's there to critique other people's solves. They're just there for their own. And it's, yeah, more of the same thing that I just said. Just go to a competition. Thank you very much, you guys. I've got more questions still to answer, so I'll have more of these in the future. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe, and comment to like this in the future. And as always, stop by speedcubeview.com for my news and reviews.